When you're getting into the world of baking, I always recommend taking up biscuits as a project. You learn how to make a biscuit, you can make them fluffy or flat or flaky or just about anything. And you can switch up flavors very easily. Now Morgan's here and she's going to show us a great sweet biscuit that hails from the South. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to make a blueberry biscuit. So I didn't want this to eat like a muffin. I wanted to eat like a flaky biscuit. So it's really important to like start with the right ratio of dry ingredients. Okay. So here I have three cups of all-purpose flour, and to that I'm gonna add a half cup of sugar. There was a balance of trying to get these sweet, but not too sweet. So this is definitely a little bit more sugar than an average biscuit, right. but not near as much as a muffin. I have two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and then one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. So I'm just gonna whisk this until it's nice and combined. And what would a biscuit be without butter? I have 10 tablespoons of chilled butter that I've cut up into half inch pieces. And I'm just using unsalted butter. I tend to bake with unsalted butter just so you can control the salt. Right. Now I am gonna just get my hands in here. Good. And smash the butter. So you just wanna go in and just smash it between your hands and break it up into irregular pieces. Here I have a cup and a half of blueberries. So you can use frozen if you want. We have instructions for that on our website. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna fold these in nicely and make sure they're totally incorporated. With biscuits, you don't want to over mix it. That can make a tough biscuit. We don't want tough biscuits in here. So I'm trying to get all the dry things together before I add any liquid, because that's when you start making tough biscuits. Right. Here I have one and two thirds cup chilled buttermilk. Fold this in gently. Again, trying to be gentle here to avoid making them tough. So I really don't want any flour streaks, but I don't want to over mix it at all. Okay. Lovely, so just until the little pockets of flour are gone. Yes. Perfect. So I'm gonna let this hang out for just a second and move on to our pan. Great. So I have an eight by eight baking pan here. And the only thing to make these better would be more butter. Yes. I'm gonna brush this a tablespoon of melted butter all over the edge of this. And the edges of the biscuits are going to frizzle and fry mm. in this butter. So I will have nice buttery edges all over these blueberry biscuits. And now the batter. So I'm just gonna press this out, make sure it's nice and even. One more thing. So I have a bench scraper and I'm gonna spray it with nonstick cooking spray. So I'm gonna just go ahead and actually score where my biscuits oh. are gonna be. Pre-stamping. Pre-stamping. This will make it easier to cut them apart at the end. It'll kind of give me some guidelines on where my biscuits are. Very nice. Virginia Willis is a Southern cookbook author. She explained that biscuits are like people and they rise better together. So I always picture that when I bake these biscuits. That Instead they... <laughs> of stamping them and having them set apart, they bake better together, you're right. Also, when you roll out biscuits and you have to re-stamp and re-roll them, you can risk overworking the dough and you can make them a little more tough. So I'm just gonna bake these in a 400 degree oven. It's gonna take about 40 minutes. I'm gonna check them with a paring knife when they're done and it should come out clean and they should be nice and golden by then. Look at that crust. So mm. delicious. It smells so buttery. It smells unbelievable. I will get the door. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Okay, so I do want to check these because they look nice and golden, but I also want to go in with a paring knife. See, nice and clean. No crumbs attached. No crumbs attached. That's what we want. So I do need to let these cool five more minutes before I can turn them out. Okay. And while I do that, I'm just going to make a little more zhuzh to dress them up. Love it. So I've got two tablespoons of butter a tablespoon of honey, and just a little pinch of salt. So we're gonna make honey butter. Honey butter. So I'm just gonna microwave this uh, until the butter's melted, it'll take about 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, so it's been five minutes and I'm gonna flip these out. So I'm just gonna put another wire rack on top of them. Just make it nice and easy on myself. Okay. Ooh. Cake. Cake. <laughs> and, a second, wait for it. Biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> and. Oh, you can really smell it once it comes out of the pan. Oh yeah. A little glisten, mm. a little shine. I love this because now when you eat this, if you get this little bit, you get like a salty, sweet, honey, butter bite. All the good words. All the good words. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. All the magical things. <gasps> and you wanna make sure to go ahead and use all of this. If it feels like too much, that's a good thing. 
Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Almost time to eat. It's a little doughy inside right now. We just have to let it cool 10 more minutes. Those look beautiful. And the aroma here in the kitchen, fresh biscuits, nothing better. Yes, thank you so much. I'm very excited. So it's been our 10 minutes. We made ourselves these helpful little lines earlier. It's like color within the lines. Very smart. Cut within the lines. I'll give you this guy. This one's nice and big, fluffy. Lovely. Can we just marvel at the size of these for a moment? I don't skimp on my biscuits. That is some healthy sized biscuit there. <gasps> yes. I am very appreciative well, of that. There's a lot of blueberries in here too. I'm making sure you're getting your antioxidants. Oh. I mean, biscuits are good for the soul. All right. Mmm. So soft. Yeah, they're buttery, they're rich. They've got a nice little salty sweet thing going on. That's it. They're mm. not too sweet. They're not dessert. No, I want this to be like a savory biscuit, but also still balanced, sweet, have the blueberries come through. Oh, and that top, that craggy, crisp top. These are biscuit heaven. You Thank should you. open up a place, sell these and call it biscuit heaven. I like that. Great idea. So you're definitely going to want to make these biscuits at home. Smash cold butter into a flour mixture. Use a pat in the pan biscuit method to shape the dough and brush on lots of honey butter for a sweet glaze. So from Cook's Country, biscuit heaven on a plate. It's the all time great flakiest blueberry biscuits. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>